Ensonga zoburi webisi ya ganate la zikomye umu pari ya menti. Ngena baza kema vega. Interview. Bobi wa njiyabade na yo ko BBC. E yuke uyabade agenze ukutongo za filimu ye. Jabade nga akola. Oluva nyuma lukumu. Jako abani. Oluoku ogera obo oluoku yimba. Ngavu mirida obuli webisi ya gaimia kati ya wade muenda olomosti. Katino tojokira ntikati musajja watunzi eranga mkule embeze na damu chibine cha national unity platform. Webambo vuziza luachi ya imba. Ngavu mirida obuli webisi ya ga era neteki oba standie ngaweli right about now. Ebi gambo vya yogede uh, muenda muhabila vya mba dance jambi vajira yo. Ne video je nakoze ulwe gulo yesterday Nga jema e ya gala ye tondo ulwe vigambe bibi ya yogede Nga chozi nga babaka wali kuludo ulufu ganya okoli la museveni Katine no ensonga techa tena baku zikira Ababaka wajitu temu parliament Yara neba janjula ku flow of parliament Nga babu za speaker is written in order For someone to go outside of the country and start talking ill about the country, especially in matters regarding uh, behaviors of Ugandans. Ababaka batabu sekuluno. Bagala speaker intervene inge na ye. Response ya speaker nyumide kubanga agambi. Eno mata ya demu bukori doso tibajua nyobude. Kanso kenkwe ababaka bano nga be mulugunya kubigambo vino. Right on our speaker. You have alluded to the fact that uh, the institution of parliament must be protected. And it is through the conduct of members that we are respected and what we put out. On all members, we did pass the Homosexual Act, and the uh, Anti-Homosexual Act was passed by this House. And uh, it was brought in good face by the opposition. But I have been looking at the international place when we are being bashed that we could have been bought. Yet what we exercised was in accordance with the constitution. The sovereignty of the people of the constitution is done through the elected members of parliament. That is the, uh, Article 1. And we did it in, under Article 79. So, right to the speaker and members, we have what we call a foreign policy. When any member of parliament or a Ugandan has traveled, he must look at the national interest. And what the national interest has been as provided for in the chapter, uh, in the part 28 and in the article 8 of the constitution. Would it be proper that foreign policy is adhered to so that when you are a member of parliament, when you are a Ugandan and you have traveled, you work in accordance with the constitution on the national policy or national position. Because in this case, the national position is in accordance with the act that was passed by this parliament. So when someone goes out and is the president of a party, and he thinks that even his own party did not do good in accordance with what he was, how do we protect our colleagues in the house who brought it and they were exercising the powers in accordance with the law? That one is a very bad practice, I thank you. Thank you. Right, Honorable Speaker, thank you very much for referring us to Appendix F, the Code of Conduct. This house is only protected by us, how we conduct ourselves. And I want to join my brother from Kisoro, Honorable Kwizera, to share the pain. And we need guidance on how we shall conduct ourselves. If this House takes a decision on any matter and then a political leader of any color or right says that a particular group of people were either compromised, it, it, it leaves us, uh, even after this Parliament, right, Honorable Speaker, you can be the Chief Justice, you can be anything, the law here can be a UN director, you can get into an international organization. Right Honorable, are you presiding over a house 
which is being compromised? Are you presiding over a house where, when laws are passed, they have partisan uh, faces? The anti-homosexuality bill, which became law, was actually brought by Honorable Asman. Did the NRM MPs commit a suicide and a mistake to support that by partisan law? Should we be castigated, should we be traded off the integrity of this country because somebody wanted to access either visa? Honorable, right Honorable Speaker, is that fair for political leaders from Uganda to speak recklessly, carelessly, about the image of this parliament? Can it be make us proud to be members of parliament where we are compromised? I sympathize with those who call themselves on the other side. This is very painful. I feel like I'm crying. The bill was brought by an opposition member and is even a president of a political party. That is Gemma. And it was also seconded by opposition. And then the whole house supported for the good of this country. In the name of protecting the family, that was supported. The aspect of having cheap politics and trading the decision of a country, which is a national position, cannot be accepted by this country. And I am not going to ask, first of all, the members of opposition that I have, led by Honorable Mpuga, were not compromised by anybody. And they don't work for President Museveni. They are opposition members, and you cannot go there and claim that these members are working for President Museveni. They acted on their own way for the good of the people of Uganda, not for cheap, not for cheap, smaller envelopes. The only person that we know did not support, we know. But the rest of the people, that is honorable folks, the rest we know supported this bill and opposition is not compromised. If he's compromised, that is his business. Our members have integrity to protect. And I'm not going to ask Honorable Lop to make a statement on that because he's not a party to it. Yes? Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Vice Honorable. The weekend, we watched with horror on our television sets as uh, once again uh, China is uh, coping with a new viral infection which is now affecting children. And I think they have gone back to masks again. And uh, this is where we are trying to find out from the Minister of Health whether we are actually prepared can, on this matter. Is it on communication? Yeah. No, it's a, a bit of an important matter. Oh, is it related to what I, I talked about? Thank you. Yes. Yes, uh, homosexuality. Right Honourable Speaker and Honourable Members, I want to remind ourselves the day we passed the Anti-Homosexuality Act. I thought we had made a ruling on that. Commissioner, we have made a ruling on that. That's a very small thing. We can't discuss what somebody was discussing in the corridors of uh, London. Because somebody wants to get handouts. Ebigambo bia Bobby Wine wobi wobi to no dida. Gwenga gwalaba vidienu. Chi chofunam Enged Jiazemwe Bozo, Ngia Garanch Kurekere, O Funam O O Chirabo Tia. Hm? Gao Bagamatino, Yaba Denga Atunda, Olokuba Yai Nachai Sao na Tunda. Ababa kabo opposition. Chitufu ababa kabo opposition yu ababa koche vaisi zangecho okuprotectinga society. Babira ababa guliride. Eteka inova biru enu ya teboli ingibwa. Honalebo asmani vasalirwa. Owechibi na chajema tenga i president wacho. 
tugambe basalirwa kolera government iye opposition eri wo compromising bwa we kibanga kitufu agenda chi ali behind okuyise tekalino nge ne ba compromisinga ne opposition yonna mr bobby wine with the due respect aba bakabo nawe kenyini okimanyi ntino bakolira mu seveni gwe bakuvako if it is so chiche cha tukao oli nacho sobolo tunnyonyola era lwacho cha tambula nabo yo sobolo bano kola yo aba ba compromising bwa nga wozono kola yo abantu abalala because we don't need to hide into something because we need we we are we have we are having an agenda that we want to pass Hmm? Obango ina chichocho isao. How are you protecting your opposition MPs ababo na dala abechibi nacho? Are you sure from lead of opposition we are compromised by Mr. Museven? That's what you're trying to tell us. The question remains. Do you still believe in your MPs? If it is so, do you think what they did was right for them to pass or to support this bill? If not so, what was your take? Or what how do you where do you stand regarding this bill or this law because it is now a law? Where do you stand? Abantu tebagenda kokuba mwe bituli na dala abana Uganda because now no na yokera ebi ngoli bweru but we will need to come back and uh, converse for support from people who are eager and are ready to protect their dignity and their culture behaviors it's back to you mr robert chagrany yenze sasho akatera yenze amata agatafa